if her job got just a little bit easier on May 9th. And then my follow-up question, did it get downright exciting on July 18th? Brothers, sisters, friends, and neighbors, please welcome the first female identifying president of the BC Federation of Labor, Sister Irene Landinger. Well, happy Labor Day, workers of BC! It's my pleasure to be here and bring you the greetings of the 500,000 other unionized members in this province. And you know, we sing a song often, Solidarity Forever. And that song says, without our brain and muscle, not a single wheel would turn. And that's true. The workers of this province run our mines, they run our mills. Their staff in our hotels and restaurants and keep our thriving tourist industry healthy. They drive our buses, they issue our passports, they secure our borders, they keep us healthy, they teach our children. That's what the workers of, of BC do and thank you for that because you are them. But even better, even better, Workers union work in the labor movement and in their unions. And what that does is improve equality in our society. It narrows the gap between rich and poor. It makes everyone better when we lift wages and benefits and pensions for workers. And they work to elect governments that share our values. And I'm going to answer Janet's question about May 9th. Did your job get easier on May 9th? And the answer is, no, my job got harder because the NDP actually talks to me and I have tons of meetings with them. But we will do more for workers with this government and that's the good news that I am more than happy to do that work to improve lives of working people in this province. Because we're going to get a $15 minimum wage in this province and we have been working on that for a long time and we are confident that we can convince the Fair Wages Commission to do it before 2021 <laughs> because there are so many good reasons to do it so many good reasons to do it 500,000 workers in this province work and live below the poverty line and that's just not fair and children grow up in poverty in this province and that's not right. We pay the long-term cost of poverty in our education system, in our health care system, in our social service system, we pay that cost. We would be better off to pay workers good wages, good benefits and give them pensions from day one. And we only need to look at Seattle where they have a $15 minimum wage now for big businesses and where the mayor says the economy is thriving. Fortune 500 companies are coming here. Restaurants are competing for workers and starting them at $15 or $20 an hour. That's what's happening in Seattle and it can happen here too. So I want to thank you for the work that you do in your workplace every day. It keeps our province going. I want to thank the, you for the work that you do in your unions. It makes our world a more equal place and improves our lives as British Columbians. So let's take this Labor Day and recommit ourselves to keeping a strong, vibrant labor movement in this province and making life better for working people. Thank you very much. Happy Labor Day! Oh, someone else that's taller than me. <laughs>